and this can do it all. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is load your settings on your phone, go under your internet settings and turn off mobile data. Turn it off. Turn off your mobile data. You do not want that on because you are going to have a nightmare if you have that on because <sighs> it's just going to be a nightmare. And then all of your Wi-Fi um, internet connections disable all of your automatic connects. So all of your stuff, um, all of your internet service providers, your Wi-Fi, if you have it set up with your phone and it automatically connects for you, turn that off, disable it. Disable automatic connecting on all your Wi-Fi internet connections. That's step number two. Once you do that, you're going to then have to go on and um, this is going to get very tricky. Um, and this is only, you can try what I just told you to do. You can try entering that information and disabling your internet and also disabling your um, automatic connecting for other services. And then you can go ahead and try and follow their steps and see if it works or not. If it doesn't work, then keep that all that stuff, what I told you, and then you're gonna have to find your router's um, information. So you're gonna want your username and password and how to connect, which I will show you in a moment. All right, so this is our modem. So it's a Hitron or whatever. And on here, which I'm not gonna show you, which is probably on the back, it's gonna tell you your username and password if you've never changed it, you may already be tech savvy and you may already have changed the username or changed the password and whatnot and already know how to access all of this stuff and all the information. But there's also going to be a, a URL or simply a code that you can put in to get onto the page that you need to get onto. For me, and most start with it's going to be a uh, web address and it's going to be numbers. So it's going to be like 129.168.5.4.3 or whatever. Um, and that's going to be on here. That will be on your modem or router that you're using. Another thing to keep in mind, do not try and connect to a 5G network. It only works with a 2.4. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. All right, so when you log on, you're going to have different stuff, and it's going to show you home status, basic wireless admin, and there's going to be each router is different, so you're going to see different stuff. For me, we go under, uh, let's see. All right, for us, we would go and find security. So find security, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to custom. And basically what that means, entire firewall, turn it off. Turn off, turn it off. It should be off if you go under custom. Um, if you don't have any custom option, then go under low or the lowest you have and then save changes. Once you do that, go ahead and turn your phone off, turn the device off, and go ahead and restart everything and try it now. Try everything, try it on your phone, try the app and save. If that does not work, then you need to also follow this next step. Keep this the way it is. Keep your internet the way it was, like we told you and everything. You are then gonna find wireless, and then you are then going to find down here where it says, add manage device. You are then going to go under the host name and then enter the name. So all one word, the metric right in there. And then you're going to add the MAC address. To find the MAC address, I will show you right now. Go through the settings on your phone like you normally would and go and try and connect. When you try and connect, somewhere along the page, you're going to see MAC address. It's going to come up and it's going to show you an address and it will be MAC address. So you probably have already seen it or 
if you, you tried all these steps, it would have came up. So try all the steps like normal, like you normally would, and just read everything as it comes up. And it should be in like that kind of gray tone, and it will be down around there. And then copy that MAC address and simply enter it right here, and then click add or save or whatever yours has. And then you'll go down to probably your bottom and you'll click save changes and then try it again try out the whole setup once you do that but again reset your phone and everything and it's a good idea that if this fails if you've done this and it failed reset your router so turn your router um off and then back on and then turn your phone back on and everything back on and try it then if it still fails then there's another thing you need to do um and that is the MAC address that it's telling you is false. So, to know if it's false or not, you would need to go under your Wi-Fi settings, um, and you would connect to your device and whatnot. So, since we've already connected to it, it's not gonna show up, so we're gonna go under our saved connections, uh, which is right here. This would be ours. We go ahead and tap that. And it will bring it up it'll bring up some details and then if you go under privacy what it's going to do is it normally is set use randomized mac click use device mac go ahead and select that and then go under advanced and then scroll down and it's going to say network details and it's going to say device mac address and that mac address is actually going to be different than the one that it's telling you when you're going through the whole process weird huh so once you go through that and you get that second mac address go ahead and name it whatever your device name is so for ours it's lm9083 go ahead and have that one and add that one as well to your just like you added the other mac address go ahead and do that and save it then go ahead and under security you'll go under security you're going to go under device filter so under device find device filter it's under security go ahead and add both of those mac addresses Go ahead and find add manage devices and go ahead and add both of those MAC addresses up in here. This is, you know, select yes, yes and save it. And then also go under your, at the bottom, it'll probably say save changes, click save changes. Once you do all that, then go ahead and try it again and it should work fine if it hasn't worked yet already. I know this is ridiculous. Um, to be quite honest with you, I spent a couple of hours figuring this out. You know, I looked up online and nothing was telling me anything. So I just played with this to get it figured out. Um, it is very ridiculous. Extremely, extremely ridiculous, but extremely, extremely worth it when you actually get it because this is really cool. I'm not going to lie. Like, I haven't set up anything yet. And this is super, super cool. Um,. So we're going to go back here and open ours up now. And the cool thing about it, now it connects all the time. Everything's working great. Um, now, now, yeah, here's the kicker. Now they have the updated software that supposedly fixes a lot of bugs, but you can't get to it until you get this set up, and then you can install it. They have a recovery um, way to do it, but I tried doing it, and it doesn't work. It is so ridiculous how everything is set up so we're going to we're updating it hopefully everything updates great um, but you would think that they would send these already upgraded but no they don't so there's a so much flaws in this that other youtubers will not tell you but you hear it here after all of this is said and done I love this it was worth the headache and worth the hassle um, now you guys have a video and hopefully other people will share this video and so you know if you ever have problems so that is my thoughts thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys have a great day